Infinity Ward makes their Valiant return with Modern Warfare 3. While everything remains exactly the same as before, a whole new single player campaign is introduced along with a similar multiplayer mode that improves upon Modern Warfare 2. Even though the single player campaign isn't quite as long as before, it is replayable with hundreds of t Intel cases tediously scattered about. The story is much easier to follow this in this game than in Modern Warfare 2, and follows a lone soldier trying to survive masses of Russian soldiers, tanks, helicopters, and then there's another story about a squad of American soldiers covertly shooting their way to the Russian president. As realistic as Modern Warfare 2 was, this game takes it a step further while being even more action-packed than that game. Over the course of this game, the player will kill tens of thousands of soldiers throughout. With all this action, the game only lasts about two hours and over half of that is scripted sequences. Short as that single player campaign is, Spec Ops, Spec Ops mode is returned in the form of a level select screen, adding to the replayability of the game while also being able to be played in co-op. Though of course, if you play Call of Duty, you don't care about any of that and will opt to skip straight to the multiplayer mode. Infinity Ward has taken the formula that made Modern Warfare 2 successful and increases upon that. The first thing you'll no you'll probably notice is that they change the stats for all guns, making every weapon except for the assault rifles vastly underpowered. That is, unless you're using one of the new perks. The new sleight of hand perk not only decreases the time from hip fire to ADS by a factor of 90%, but also snaps to any target within 180 degree view field. The new commando perk essentially turns the knife into a long range sniper rifle with liberal hip protection. And the new Army of One perk allows the user to carry infinite more rifle grenades while also increasing splash damage from those rifle grenades. Cold Blooded Pro allows the wearer to turn the same color as the walls around them while, dis while disabling kill cams. Kill streaks have also been changed a bit. While they're almost exactly the same as Modern Warfare 2, airships and the tactical nuke are much more accessible. One kill streak that has been added is the RCXE which Infinity Ward likes so much they made it available for one kill. As much as this game adds to an existing formula, a multitude of things have been removed. Longtime Call of Duty fans will be glad to hear innovative things such as wager matches and COD points have been removed. To discourage playing objective types even more, you must be at level 50 to unlock them, and the respawn times have been increased to minutes. All in all, while Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 doesn't do a lot to push the genre forward, it does further refine the successful formula that Infinity Ward has created and so much success with.